Hey there, I'm Michael and this is Diaries of a Board Game YouTuber for Monday the 6th of March 2017. So we're into March, wow, when did that happen? Okay, so let's get on because there's a lot to talk about today. So we'll start with our week in review. There were eight videos, so a very busy week and that's why there's a lot to talk about. Now the first video was the announcement of the Kickstarter going live. So we're currently running crowdfunding to get money to basically mean that I can carry on spending all my time making these videos for you. And that's going really well. We've already funded. Um, so that happened on the second day, I think. So that was really good. And we're now just kind of crawling along, working towards some stretch goals, such as more content, better equipment, things like that that will just improve the channel. So that's obviously been taking up a lot of my time working on the Kickstarter in the lead up to its launch, but also since it's launched, working to try and publicise it, get other people sharing it, etc. Um, has been a huge amount of work on top of doing the videos. Then the second video this week was to come win that game go live announcement. So to coincide with the Kickstarter, I have made this two can win that game five weeks long and each week is actually a separate giveaway so if you want to learn more about the games that are going to be available etc you can watch that video to find out and also you can find in that video links to enter each week's giveaway uh, then what was that oh uh, cauldron master this little card game up here it had the review of that so that's um, set collection, action selection, kind of a deduction element in there. If you want to find out more about the game, just watch my review. And uh, It's currently up on Kickstarter. I can't remember if it's funded or not. I think it has. Um, then what else did we have? Uh, the new Review Wars. This time it was nominations for the best sci-fi games. So Sorry about the background noise. Just loud vehicle going past. Uh, so we had nominations for best sci-fi game. So if you want to see what was nominated and place a vote for the winner, at the moment I'm winning, so I'm pretty chuffed, and um, we'll see if that carries on into the week. And then at the bottom here we have Innis. We had four videos go up for Innis. So firstly I did the how to play video, so you can find out how to play the game. Then I did a two-player playthrough, so you can see how this plays with two players because it's drafting and area control which are both things that typically people don't like very much with two players uh, you'll be able to see and judge for yourself on that then what else was there uh, oh, of course review um, we had a short review so if you just want a quick five minutes uh, overview of the game and my summary thoughts on it then check that short video review out and then there was also the full review where you can get my full thoughts on all the artwork, components, etc. So uh, yeah, that's Innis. Uh, if you don't know what Innis is, as I say, it's drafting and area control combined. Uh, it's a very popular game at the moment. I'm calling it the Marmite of Games and I don't think I'll be the only one doing so. Whew. So that's been the week. I say, very busy week between the giveaway, the Kickstarter and all those videos so much going on. So what has that resulted in? Well, we'll just talk about the Kickstarter first. So we, we're just shy of a week, but we'll call it a week that the Kickstarter has been running. And we've got raised £1,730. So I set the goal as £1,500, which is pretty much, I just wanted a show of good faith that people were interested enough in what I'm doing to back it. Um, the actual goal to fund <laughs> season two so that I'm not making a loss on it um, is £2,200 I believe so that would be really nice to reach but as it is that just means that that's a huge weight of loss eating into my savings that I no longer have to worry about and there are 88 backers who I'm so thankful for too and I yeah I just I am kind of shocked at 88 people have supported me and I'm really pleased with that. And I even uh, got a new sponsor, uh, Sweet Lemon Publishing, 
And so that was a big chunk, that was £500. So they're going to be sponsoring, so you're going to be seeing beginning of every video an advert for them. And yeah, so I'm just really excited by all this. It's super great. And I'm really looking forward to actually, you know, like working with Sweet Lemon, making their advert, and hopefully, you know, we can grow together. It's going to be great. Um, so, uh, <laughs> calming myself down. Facebook, 58 weeks, 2,406. So this is a big jump on last week and that we've seen in general for a while. And of course, it's two can win that game. It has this effect. It causes everything but probably the most important metric, which is interaction and views. Um, well, it's not called interaction, but yeah, engagement, that's the term that gets used. Um, <laughs> It causes all the subs, likes and follows to go up, which are kind of empty metrics. And the longer I go with this, I, I when I started, I was very worried about those and I thought those were very important. And over time, I'm realising they're less and less important. Engagement and views are very much what I need to be getting. Um, and the giveaways don't really affect that, but I kind of want to keep doing them. I know that's foolish, but I... I I get a really good feeling when I give the games away, um, so it's completely selfish. I, I just like giving back to the community and I want to keep doing that. So I think, you know, despite it has been identified, the giveaways do not actually help growth in the way that it should. I'm still going to be doing it. Um, so yeah, that was Facebook. Uh, Twitter, 9,744 followers. Again, around the same increase as we've seen with Facebook. Not surprising. It's probably the same people following on both platforms. Uh, YouTube, the channel's been going 63 weeks. What is with the traffic today? Um, 63 weeks. Uh, subs, 3,758. Again, about the same increase that we've seen on both Facebook and Twitter. Not really that surprised. Then views, 167,917. So this is 5,000 roughly views. As I say, not really increased. And I didn't really expect it to. It doesn't when we do the giveaways particularly. Um, other factors have much larger effect and they tend to be things outside of my control, honestly. But 5,000 views, I'm actually really pleased. that That's a good value. I, I'm, you know, 5,000 for me, that is, at the moment, that's what I've been around for the last month or so. I think that's going to be my kind of running target for this year now, is try and keep it at that 5,000. Uh, if it can go up, that'd be great. Uh, so what else we got to talk about? Well... There's this giant thing here to talk about. But before we get to that, the other arrival that I had was Realm Master. So this is an interesting fantasy setting, um, kind of King of Tokyo game, but with more strategic options. So there'll be more videos coming for that soon. I haven't got it here because of space and it doesn't have a box, so it doesn't work great for the camera from that perspective. But uh, yeah, then this giant box here is my other new arrival. I'm so pleased to have this. I've waited so long. Um, so for those of you who uh, don't know, it's Arcadia Quest Inferno. Um, I backed uh, getting the base game, pets, uh, a couple of the dragons. I couldn't, I didn't push to get all the dragons. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited. I'm, I, I know I had said I wasn't going to do unboxings on the channel anymore, but I'm so excited to do this and I kind of want to film my own reactions anyway. I am going to film the unboxing. That's why it's, it's still sat there taunting me completely closed. But you'll get to join me for the process and excitement of opening that, um, which I will be doing pretty much as soon as I finish recording this. <laughs> I'm so... Oh. Um, anyway, um, so yeah, coming this week, uh, let's get this out of the way so I can get to this. Um, so coming this week, we have Dungeons of Infinity. I'm going to have my review on that. Um, dungeon crawl game, fair few things different to your typical dungeon crawl though. So that'll be interesting to talk about. Um, and what else there? Code names. So the next Meeple box will be coming out uh, probably at the weekend sometime, and it's going to be for code names. 
So Codenames is a game I love, as it says on the box, best uh, number one party game on Board Game Geek, and it really does deserve that, in my opinion. Then uh, we should have our winner for the Sci-Fi um, Review Wars, so do be sure to vote again, as I say, uh, to pick that winner. And then the other big thing coming up in this week is going to be Aircon. Now, I don't think I'm going to do anything live because I'm just... I, I tried back... I can't remember when it was. I tried doing some live stuff and I couldn't get it to work. So um, I'm not going to try again. Um, but I am hopefully going to be getting some good footage from that convention, um, including hopefully some interesting sneak peeks at some stuff that's coming later in this year. So if you've not seen it yet, I actually did do a like preview video a couple weeks ago. Um, I'm really looking forward to going to this convention. I think it's going to be a great time and just loads of games played, lots of fun, meet a lot of people that I've spoken to online but never actually met, so that'll be good too. Um, so yeah, that's coming up this weekend. You know, if you see me there, do come say hi. Um, and yeah, that, that's it really. Um, so that's that's all I've got to talk about this week. Um, so that's coming next week. Yeah, uh, yeah. So as always, you know, do the whole following, subscribing, etc. But most importantly, do be sure to be watching the videos and just enjoying it because that's why I'm doing this so that people can enjoy it. Okay, thanks for watching, and bye for now.